as a provider, we've greatly struggled since through the pandemic before and um, on this side where we currently are um, in hiring staff, retaining staff, um, open shifts, overtime, staff burnout, um, professional staff leaving their responsibilities to work in the direct support um, uh, need-based fields. And something that I never wanted to have happen, asking families to pick up more support hours in a situation where we promised a family or we promised an individual, we will be there, we will be that support to you. We've run up against these gaps, these holes that unfortunately haven't been just a moment in time, but a habitual problem to us. Um, we used to compete with other um, waiver providers in West Virginia in the job field for direct support. Um, we were able to promote ourselves as a agency that provides high quality care with great support um, from all levels of our organization. Unfortunately, that's not enough anymore. Uh, my competition is gas stations, fast food, and um, supermarkets. Uh, the Sheets, just down the street, nothing against Sheets or any other employer. Their starting wage is $16 an hour. The shift differential takes them up to just under 18. Um, Aldi Supermarket uh, in our area is starting at $14.50. And Chick-fil-A, again, uh, nothing against any of these businesses or employers. Their starting wage at the restaurant beside the mall here is $16 an hour. Uh, I'm very grateful for the American Rescue Plan funding, uh, Senator Manchin and his support on that. Um, and because of that support and that funding, we were able to temporarily offer pay increases, offer 90-day incentives, quarterly bonuses, and just we, the money came in and we were able to send it right back out to where we know it was needed. Um, we did see some benefits to that, um, but the problem is the word I said, it was temporary. I, I, I'm reporting to direct care, hey, I have this relief for you. I, I, I have this support in a form of a financial incentive, a pay increase, but I can only promise it through a certain amount of time. And that time ended for us um, in the beginning of April with the funding. Um, now, uh, our CEO and board made a decision that, you know, we knew our employees needed more, needed more time, needed more money. So out of our own resources, um, we've been able to keep those staff increases and those bonuses through the end of December. Um, but... No matter what we do, no matter what happens, December 31st is coming. And at some point, I'm going to have to remind our direct support workers and talk to our board and say, December 31st is coming. We need to prepare. Um, I'm deeply worried uh, about, about what, what that will mean for the type of supports we're able to provide. Um, Weekly, I have to turn down families that are seeking support, um, other agencies coming and asking if we're able to support. Um, these are life-sustaining services for West Virginians in the IDD community. 